Hey, we're delving deeper into lesson number 25. God has blessed you often more than you can even realize. Back in 1897, a man named Johnson Oatman wrote a song entitled, Count Your Blessings. Now, consider what he wrote. He says, count your blessings. It'll surprise you what the Lord has done for you. Your doubts will fly. You'll have things that money can never buy, and you will have the comfort and help to your journey's end. God has, is, and will bless you, and you can pass the blessings on that you've received. So try doing this. Here's some, some tips. Uh, number one, acknowledge the people around you with a smile and with a nod. It's amazing how many will smile back. Number two, be courteous and considerate of others. See how many thank yous you can acquire during the course of a day. Number three, engage people. Folks sometimes feel like they're invisible and you can make someone's day just by acknowledging them and telling them, hey, have a great day. Number four, Offer a listening ear. You can bless anyone by listening to what they have to say. No judgment, no advice, just listen. Number five, speak an encouraging word. People are hungry for good news, something optimistic, even a pre an appreciation for what they're doing. Number six, offer to lend a helping hand. Okay, can I help you with that? They may say no, or they may say yes, but you have offered them a blessing. Uh, those six things are, are what you can do for strangers. Now, uh, who knows, though, if one of those strangers will become a new friend? Well, it might be a little harder to be a blessing at home with those that you know well. But try this. Number seven, do unto others. Do for people what you would have them do for you. You're giving the blessing of the feeling of being cared for. Number eight, converse. Entering into a conversation with another person sends a message you think that their opinions and their ideas are valuable. Number nine, love. See if one of your people has a need, and then if you can, meet that need. Do so, or at least come alongside and offer your assistance. Number 10, surprise folks with an act of kindness. Bring them a coffee, flowers, a small gesture that communicates that you value them. <laughs> For me, run the vacuum, do the dishes, throw in a load, the small stuff like that, I know that's a blessing to my wife. Number 11, give an invitation. I mean, go make a plan to do something, okay? It doesn't matter what it is, but you make that plan and then invite your friend to come along with you. This creates a sense of belonging and acceptance for them. They realize that they are wanted. Number 12, give your time and attention. This is a gift of presence. It is a blessing that makes the recipient feel that they are important. You can give away the blessings you have received through being God's ambassador. An effective way of letting people know that God loves them and is concerned about them is to simply offer to pray for them. People love to tell their stories. It could be a boast. It could be a brag. It could be a lament. It could be an invitation to have you join them with their pity party or to celebrate their good fortune. Listen, and then ask God to intervene. Hey, let me, let, let me pray for you. And in that prayer, thank God for the good stuff. Ask that um, good things are going to happen, that, 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 that it's going to turn out all right. In that prayer, ask God to intervene on their behalf. It just might turn out to be the biggest blessing in their life.